Oh, what a mess. Hey, rarely let my shop get this dirty, but I've been kind of busy. I'm not gonna clean it yet, but when I get these three knives done, four, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give my shop a good cleaning. All right, I'm gonna grind the bevels on Mark's knife. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna work on Mark's knife until I get these three knives done. And the reason is, this is gonna be a highly polished, mirror polished knife with the uh, synthetic handles. And uh, it's gonna take all my concentration, basically, to, uh, you know, I gotta, since it's gonna be a mirror polished, I gotta really devote my attention to the sanding process. And it'll be my first time working with full synthetic. And if I can go slow, I can do it. Now, uh, a friend of mine, gave me a long time ago some synthetic and for the life of me cannot figure out what I did with that stuff. He makes duck calls. It's John, Johnny Solar. And uh, I cannot find that. I do have some synthetic. I have not used this yet. It was given to me by uh, Jantz, J-A-N-T-Z. And uh, I got enough for two knives. They also gave me this synthetic stuff here. And uh, they gave me this. Couple of nice of them. I'm gonna find that synthetic. I'll find it. There it is. He gave me this and this. So if I if I am successful with this uh, other stuff, there it is. Now now that I know, I do have some more synthetic. That's G10, and I doubt that I'll ever use it. Here is some synthetic. Uh, same thing that Jantz gave me this. That looks pretty cool. I may use that next. But anyway, here's my synthetic. I'm going to put that and the G10 in a drawer by itself. Uh, let's see. Right here. And I have some other synthetic. Uh, hmm. There we go. Those are hybrids. It's synthetic with wood. This is a <coughs> spalted maple burl. And this is a, I believe it's the same thing. That's a wood called Tuya. Okay. Oh, oh, remember the uh, dinner skinner I made? And I couldn't tell you who it was for. It was Billy. Billy turned 13, and that was uh, his dad had me make that for him for his birthday. And that wood was this wood here. I didn't think I had any more, but I do. This is called Tuya. It's spelled T-H-U-Y-A, and the pronunciation is Tuya. And that wood really come out nice. Okay, I showed you my wood enough. Let's get to work. All right, I said I wasn't going to do much on this, but I went ahead and I got the bevels ground, and I got this sanded up to uh, 220. So I got all the bevel grind lines sanded out. And now I'm going to stop. I'm going to epoxy the handles onto uh, Don Donald's knife. And then I'm going to uh, get these up to 220, and I'll go to 320, and uh, 
I don't know if I'm going to work on this. I, I don't know yet. Let me get this epoxied on and move this over the other table and uh, I'll think about what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to get these two up to 220 next. I almost forgot to sand the nose of these. I'm glad I realized it at the last minute. Otherwise, it's impossible to sand these on the knife without ruining the finish of the knife that you've got started. So, all right, I'm going to sand these, buff them, and then epoxy them. All right, I'll uh, work on that tomorrow. Now, let me return... To, uh, two file knives. I'm going to get these sanded up to 220. And depending on how I feel, I may start on 320 there. Uh, I don't want to get tired to the point where it's tempting to not be 110% certain that I have the uh, lines sanded out from the previous grit. I mean... Here's, you know, here's how I sand basically when I'm doing a mirror polish. I sand where I can't possibly see any other grind lines from the previous grit. And then I sand another 20 minutes because some things you just can't see until you get them on the buffer. And then if you didn't sand enough, the lines show up. And by then it's too late. So, let me see. What am I going to do with this where it'll stay out of the way? Yeah, let's see. I got me wearing here that it'll be... Yeah, I'll just put it right there. G10. I hate G10, and I won't use it anymore once all this is gone. It's, uh, it dulls every single thing I have. Although that's, uh, this is not G10. Is it G10? Yeah, I guess it is. I have something that's fiber. This is fiber. It's, uh, fibrous. It's more like micarta. But it's green, and I don't really like green. Oh, let me get in there. Jeez. All right. Sorry you had to see that. Okay. Let me get the sanded. Uh, it's, it, uh, it is likely that I will become a combat abrasive sales affiliate. So... Uh, I'm probably going to get a combat abrasives banner and I thought I may would make my shop a little less uh, a little friendly to people of all <laughs> political genres <laughs> so that's probably where my banner is gonna go right there and uh, you know what I erased <laughs> all right the beginning of a new era I suppose I uh, just started cleaning my shop. He just would not believe how dirty I'll let this thing get. All that was on there. Now I got this bench and that bench to sweep off. And then I'm going to clean my floors. And then I'm going to get back to sanding. Because uh, that one is up to uh, 220. And this one I'm getting up to 220 right now. Uh, well, as soon as I finish cleaning all right we're clean got my floors mopped and uh now tomorrow i got everything sanded up to 220. i got my shop cleaned up which was a big job so tomorrow everything gets up to 320 and 400 and uh, we'll go from there. Actually, yeah, 400 and uh, I will, tomorrow I'll be able to uh, shape the handles on this one, that's Donald's. All right, it's three o'clock. I'm done for the day. Oh, and uh, let me sit down, I'll tell you. I am definitely going to be a combat abrasives uh, sales affiliate I just uh, I got in the mail today my 6x48 combat abrasives ceramic belts for that uh, I'm going to use combat abrasives exclusively on both of my uh, so I got 20 more belts for each of these coming 
And as soon as I go through these belts that are not combat abrasives, uh, that's all I will use from now on. It just doesn't make any sense to buy cheap belts that only last half as long. And, uh, you know, the combat abrasive belts, they're, you know, 50, 75 cents, maybe a dollar more. But when a belt lasts two or three times longer, I mean, this just simple math, it works, you know. So, I probably should take his stuff home and get it washed. I think I'll do that to get his bed all cleaned up. And everybody be all clean in here and we come out here tomorrow. Okay. And that's where I'll be hanging my new uh, combat abrasive stuff. I think I'm going to... They're sending me a banner and some decals and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I will have a combat abrasives link and the, the coupon code will give you 10% off. Uh, if you enter through my link, it'll be a BC Blades coupon code, which if you enter through my link, it'll be automatic. I don't have it yet. It'll probably be Monday or Tuesday before I get that far because I had to fill out a bunch of, you know, stuff. Okay. This is, uh, whose is it? This is uh, mystery buyers, mystery shoppers, sand it up to uh, 220. And this is 320. I start on that tomorrow. Already, we're good. Even emptied my trash cans. I can work so much better in a clean shop. I don't know why that is. I mean, nothing's, the tools are the same, everything's the same. It's just working in a really messy, dirty shop makes you feel icky and you don't have the motivation it affects everything me i don't know i you know other there's other people that have shops that are in absolute chaos but they put out fantastic knives so it's just me i can't work in a mess breezy breezy boy my breezy boy you ready to go home let's go home it's almost supper time are you hungry? Let's eat. Man, it is like Christmas in August. My friend Rob sent me something from uh, Florida. Rob's homemade life. And this is to rinse your sinuses, which uh, I don't want to get gross, but when I get in the shower after a day of being in the shop, uh, you would not believe some of the muck that comes out of my nose. And it's just dust. It's not... I mean, there's no avoiding it unless I just don't go in my shop or don't sand. And uh, thank you very much, Rob. And also, he he's either doing or going to do a video on uh, a, a mixture that may help kill the, the V, the thing that's going around. And then uh, Abel... The, uh, a guy spot a couple of knives from me, Abel de, Leon, Abel de Leon, sent me some really cool stuff. Uh, I, I can't show you the flag. It's a Harley flag with Brad and Charlie on it. And then he sent Harley uh, glow-in-the-dark keychains with a little UV light that activates it, or you can hold it in the sun. And uh, they're on a necklace, which is good, because uh, I have misplaced my keys a time or two. And when I'm on the motorcycle, I only bring my motorcycle keys. So he gave me, he gave each, me and Charlie a uh, set. Hers has her name on it. And then he gave me this flag. And then this is the best bacon jerky I've ever had in my life. And I'm going to probably try it. My wife is down the hill behind me here, uh, working on the fence row, cleaning vines. And I'm going to try to eat all this and then throw the bag away before she gets here. That's all I do about bacon. We don't share bacon. Whoever gets it, gets it. Thank you very much, everybody. And that is my Combat Abrasives uh, 6 by 48 belts. And this is 50 boxes for 54 bucks. That's a dollar a box, but it's still cheaper than using the uh, post office boxes. 
because I can ship most knives in the United States for about 13 bucks or between 10 and $13, depending on how far away from me it's going. And a box that fits my bigger knives costs about 15 bucks to ship. So I'm still saving money and it's a much nicer box. Anyway, uh, I used all 50 of my boxes and I didn't buy them until I moved here. So in two years of making knives here, I've sold 50 of my big knives. And this is my, my next batch. Okay. I am, uh, I gotta take a shower. I am filthy. I'm covered, covered in dirt. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it very much. Okay, here we go. That's I'm going to hang so this nice. in the garage over the bikes. Ugh. Thank you very much, Abel. And uh, my wife knows nothing about the bacon, so we'll just pretend you didn't mail me anything. Oh, no. I see the keychain. It matches my bike. Yeah. My boots, my vest. <laughs> my lollipop matches it. What a nice thing to do. Thank it you was. very much. This is so nice. I've never seen one of these before. Ever. Nope, me neither. Okay, okay, that's grass on my arm. Not a tick. All right. It may not work. Oh, my God. You're just wringing wet with I sweat. I am. It's hot out there. Yeah. It wasn't hot in my shop. I know, but I've been cutting limbs. Oh, oh dear God. Okay. That's all. That's it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, it's very nice. 